The File tab, here on the left, takes you to Backstage View, and Backstage View is where you work with your spreadsheets. For example, this is where you print them or email them to your coworkers. Backstage View also gives you a series of tabs, and each tab has a set of commands. So let's take a quick tour, and we'll start here with the Info tab. This is where you go to convert your files to the 2010 format, manage permissions for your files, prepare them for sharing, and manage the draft versions of each file. It's also where you check for personal information in a file before you distribute it. The Recent tab is where you find the list of files you've used, and you click New, just like always, to create a new file. You can double-click Blank Workbook, or you can use any number of ready-made templates. If you click Sample Templates, you'll see a set of templates that are installed with Excel. But, if you're connected to the Internet, you can download templates from Office.com, and this is where you'll find the largest selection and the most up-to-date files. You can see the settings here include page ranges and your paper orientation. Next on the list, you use the Save and Send tab to share a file in a number of ways, including email or your fax. Now, you may have noticed this, but regardless of the tab you select, you can always open, save, and close your files here. And finally, instead of going to the Tools menu and clicking Options, you start the Options dialog box here. For example, the General tab is where you control the number of sheets in a new workbook, and the Add-ins page is where you enable and manage your add-ins. Closing the Options dialog box takes you back to your open worksheet. Another thing to remember is that you can leave Backstage View at any time by clicking any of the ribbon tabs.